Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to challenge the level 60 Phoenix, and if I'm successful, I'll go over my party afterwards. So, the dominant allegiance is actually protagonist and strategic masters. And it's a good combo because it fits all three main factions that people play. If you're a princess, for example, you would have Chris, you know, Tiaris, Liana, and Luna, right? If you're Legion of Glory, you have Elwyn, Ledin, you know, Chris, Liana, and even Almeda, let's say, and Matthew, right? And if you're playing Empire, Empire would have Leon, Alte Muller, Vargas, and then you could probably level up Luna, right? And then your last character would probably be Liana or Tiaris, or even Almeda. So basically, all the factions can kind of fight this one. Also, Quick note, Princess also usually uses Leaden as their tank, so there's Leaden once again. In any case, so all three factions that people play can do Phoenix just fine. And at that point, I'm just going to begin this fight. If I'm successful, I'll go over my party after this. So, my party is going to be Almeda, Liana, Leaden, Leon, and Elwyn. And with that said, I'm just going to get started. So the very first thing I'm going to do, Chivalry Assault, or Chivalry Smash. Mm. Sorry. Actually, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is start off with Elwyn's faction buff before I do anything else. Now, I'm going to use Almeda to Tornado the Phoenix. Using Tornado will reduce the Phoenix's attack by 20%. Now I'm going to move Leon up to Chivalry and Smash. And then let's send Ledin in, and he's going to use Burning Sun to attack the Phoenix. And finally, Liana. Let's again Leon for a second attack. Let him take the hits. And taking a quick look, you need to see who has the molten armor applied on them. And it's Almeda and Ledin. So these two need to retreat. Leon could actually attack right now as a result, because he doesn't have molten armor. So let's do that. Elwyn is going to go in and use his Sun Slash. Almeda can stay within 3 range to apply the debuff on the Phoenix. She can't attack because of the Molten Armor effect, right? If I attack, I wish would. I'm pretty sure I take a physical attack in retaliation. So that would kill off Almeda if she attacked. So she's just going to stand here and apply the debuff. Done. Let's move. Let in back. 
because Leaden with Molten Armor can't take a hit. Same with Leon. Leon is going to move back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Liana in and apply prayer on everyone. So now, Lenin tanks the hit from the Phoenix. Lenin's damage, so his turn to cycle out. And what I'm going to do is weird here. I'm going to put Liana beside the Phoenix because I want Liana. Oh no, Liana has molten armor. Never mind. Well, in that case, no choice but to put Leon beside the Phoenix. And Leon will smash him. Liana is going to make sure Leon is at full hit points. And Leden is going to wait. Alright. So. I'm going to move Leden up and Divine Guard with him. Next, I'm going to use Liana to again Leden so that Leden can attack the Phoenix. So here we go. Attack on the Phoenix from Leden. Next. Almeda's Molten Armor debuff will wear off. So... Let's send her in to heal up characters. So in she goes. Let's heal Leden. Because Leden is going to tank the hit, so he needs full hit points. And then... Oh, Leon can chivalry and attack this... Um, Shika warrior that would heal the Phoenix if it had the chance to. Perfect. Alright, so far so good. It is turn 5. The Phoenix has lost 25k hit points. So, on track. Now... Well, let's cycle Leaden out first, I guess. Or... Yeah. So retreat Leaden. Hey. 
The question is what to do with the healers. Well, let's first have Liana heal up Leden. And then... Elwyn, because he can't attack right now, right? You can see there's still one turn on the Molten Armor. If I attack, he would probably be suiciding. So he's going to move in and faction buff. Leon is going to shift towards... Uh, shift up for now. Not attacking, just shifting up. And then Almeda will tornado the phoenix and debuff it. So far, so good. Let's... Time to cycle again. Waiting for Ledin to get the debuffs removed, so he's just going to end turn where he is. Leon is going to be the next one to move in. So let's get Elwyn back. Actually, let's just send Leon in now. Leon's going to smash the Phoenix. Beside it. And Elwyn retreats back. Leanna might as well pray her. And then, Almeda can use Holy Word. So there we go. And now... Let's so is there anyone who can attack? Yes. Oh. Let's have Almeida heal up Leon to start. And debuff the Phoenix. Yes. Now the question is, can Ledin attack? But he would be taking 200% more physical damage, so that's impossible. So... Well, let's have Leon attack then. On the Flingborn Shaman, killing it off. Elwyn needs to wait. Still two turns. Yes. So, Ledin is going to move in. And he's just going to end turn. And then Liana will use a game on Ledin. That way, Ledin can now attack with Burning Sun. I might as well just move into the forest, because why not? There we go. So, turn 8. And the Phoenix is now down to 24k HP. So it's Exit. definitely going to fall at this rate. Let's get Leden back. Okay. Leon just hanging outside because... Zenryuk, 
It's not his turn to attack yet. So instead, let's send Elwyn in. And Elwyn's just going to stand here. So... Diana to heal up. And Almeida... While she has full hit points, she does have Radiate, which means 100% more magic damage taken. So... Oh, she's just going to move back as well. Since she can't attack this turn. Alright. So, let in. Two turns, meaning he just ends his turn. Elwyn, moving back to faction buff. Wait, 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 wait. No. Let's move Liana first to heal. Elwyn. So now that Elwyn's full hit points, he can move back and catch him up. And then Almeda can move up to Tornado to Phoenix. This is fine. Alright. So tornado debuff and her talent. And then Leon will go in to chivalry and assault. Uh, chivalry and smash. I usually use assault, so I'm confusing myself a bit because I gave my Leo smash in this case. I'm not sure it was actually a good choice, by the way. But it, it's what he has on him right now, so. The Flameborn guy, which has a heal skill, is almost by the Phoenix, so I have to be careful about that. But that's fine. Let's move Ledin in. And he's just going to faction. Or sorry, he's just going to divine guard this time. I'm going to move Liana in to again. Lenin is going to attack from the forest tile once more. Almeda has to heal herself, and her talent will heal up the most damaged ally, which is... Uh oh. No, that's not good. Let's actually have Almeda heal up Ledin. And then get Leon back for now. Ledin tanking the hits. So really, the core of this is Ledin, because his counterattacks does so much damage to the Phoenix. Right. 
Every time my Leden is counterattacking, he's doing f four thousand, like forty thousand damage to the Phoenix. So it's really saving me. All right. Elwyn beside the Phoenix again. Liana needs to pray her up. The question is from what tile? If I do it here, it can't affect. If I do it, how about if I cast it on? Elwyn, it affects everyone, so this is perfect. Alright, so that's how I'm going to cast it. And then... Leon is going to get rid of... This guy. There we go. Yes. And back up with Ledin. Because Almeda's at full hit points, she can f toss Holy Word at the Phoenix. So it's nearly dead. It's just cycling the three characters over and over again. Turn 12. Phoenix is down to 87k hit points. So, very close at this point. The only person who can take a hit right now is Leon. While I normally attack with Leon, I can't at this point. Well, I can. But I would be taking 100% more damage, which means Leon would probably die. So I'll just park Leon beside the Phoenix. It is what it is. Let's move Elwin back. Oh, let's see. Um. Well, let's have Almeda heal herself. And her talent will heal up Elwyn. Elwyn can then move back. Ledin is going to just wait. And I want to avoid the attack from this wizard, so I'm going to move this move down like this. And then Liana is going to heal herself. And her talent will fully heal Elwyn. Alright, Leon taking the hit does 20,000 damage to the Phoenix. And now, Ledin can move in with. Divine Guard. And also, Liana using a gain on Ledin, so that Ledin can use Burning Sun to attack the Phoenix. Oh. Made a mistake here. I should have hit, hit the Phoenix with Tornado first. That's why I was doing so little damage. So I should always use all meta first before anyone else. Anyways. Oh well, let's move Leon back. Oh, the other thing I forgot is faction buff. That's why I did so little damage. Jeez. So this turn I completely messed up my order of, of movement, right? Turn 13. Should have been Faction Buff, Tornado, then Leaden. Anyways, it is what it is. 
I'm gonna tap L1 faction buff. Lennon will do a lot of damage in this counter attack. Nice. 38,000. So, and now it's turn 14, and Leon will be able to finish it off. So, move up. Use chivalry. And it's going to be a suicidal attack, but they'll end the fight. Oh, and actually, my Leon survived that. Interesting. Alright, so it took 14 turns, but by cycling my three attackers constantly, Almeda is here to apply debuffs, and Liana is here for a gain and healing. So this was able to clear the level 60 uh, Phoenix. And it seems like I would be doing this strategy like, for the level 65 next week. So, there we go. So, to go over my party now. First things first, Elwyn, while not fully maxed out, his bonds are pretty close to max, right? 5-5, five, five, max, max, max. So this is where I put a lot of my gold in this week, upgrading my Elwyn. Ledin, of course, has been maxed in bonds for a very long time. 5, max, max, max. I never upgraded this one because you never use attack with Ledin. So the only reason to upgrade it would be if you really cared about 4% extra skill. So that's... I could do it though. Maybe once I get a bit more gold. Leon, has his bonds have been maxed a long time. 7, 7, max, max, max. And Almeda, last but not least, her bonds have been getting upgraded slowly. So there's Max, Max, her soldiers are at level 5. This bond does not matter because it increases defense and magic defense, right? And Phoenix really ignores both of these stats. So leaving it at level 5 is fine. And then her hero bond for increased intelligence is at level 2 so far because I don't have... I have neither resources nor gold to upgrade it. Alright, so that is all meta. And in terms of equipment, Leon's equipment is his usual set. Seal Guardian and Aces Armor, Horror Helm, and Wing Chin Guards. I would like to replace this Horror Helm with the Vampire Mask, but I need to level it up to level 50. Again, it's a gold limitation. Don't have the gold to upgrade that just yet. So that's Leon right now. Um, Liana. Okay, Liana has Sophia's equipment set. Because she never attacked once, I gave her the Ulver Staff and the Crystal Ball from Sophia, Tenyo's Robe, and Sage's Hat at level 30. So that was Liana. Almeda has Liana's equipment set. Because Blue Moon increases intelligence, which gives Almeda a bit more attack value for when she uses Tornado and Holy Word. Other than that, yeah, she has Green Leaf Coat, Sage's Hat level 50, and Crystal Ball again. So... And then last but not least is Elwyn. Oh, did I talk about Ledin? I'm not sure I did. Yeah, so Ledin has... He doesn't have his usual equipment set. In order to move outside of the AoE Blast range, you need Speed Boots. They need 4 movement. So, Ledin has Speed Boots instead of his King's Amulet. I broke up the Enchant of Hard Rock, but it doesn't really matter because the hit point, the 4 piece Enchant of Hard Rock is just hit point restoration. And in this case, that it didn't matter. So it was more important to have the plus 1 movement, hence Speed Boots. I'll change that back now. And give the speed boots back to Bozel. There we go. So that was El Ledin. And then finally, Elwyn. Elwyn was the same as Ledin. In fact, Elwyn is running an extremely weird set. Um, level 40 carbon fiber armor from Bernhard. This is from Bernhard, an Aces helmet. The speed boots is from Bernhard as well. Level 40, right? Speed boots with full moon enchant. 
but because my Elwyn is currently in his Lancer class, unfortunately, as a Lancer, um, he can't use Seal Guardian. So, because Seal Guardian is limited to Infantry class and Cavalry class. So he is using the Last Knight from Cherry. So that's it. It's again broken set, so I'm missing, in this case, I'm actually missing 10% attack, right? The 10% attack boost, which is actually pretty significant. But there's nothing I can do about it. Unless I reroll this enchanted full moon, and unfortunately, I don't have that many full moon scrolls. There's just one here, and three here. So I'm not rerolling this to hope to get plus attack plus hit points. So. That's why Elwyn is also using a sorry, yeah. That's why Elwyn is also using a broken set, but it gave him. But that then again, with that said, Elwyn wasn't really here to do that much damage, right? He was primarily here to faction buff and to be placed beside the Phoenix to take a hit every so often. So that was my Elwyn. It worked out. All right. So that's my party. And on that note, Nitro out. I hope you found this video useful.